G'day and welcome to another Pokemon Go video, so jumping straight into Go Battle League and all of the uh, leagues are open and we're going to the Master League Classic, so anything that isn't powered up above, well with uh, XL Candy, um, so best buddy boosts are okay. So I'm running Giratina, Origin, Dialga and Mewtwo, so they're a t it's a team that I've run um, a lot in the past and although Master League is very expensive to... Um, power things up. It's also It's a team that I've been running for a very long time and it's still very very good. So um, I would recommend uh, Sticking with it and uh, One matchup that I never like to see so what I like to do here is power up to a shadow ball Throw an ominous wind and really try and avoid them getting the extra charm through um, usually what I can do is get the um, Ominous Wind shielded, so I get a shield advantage. They throw the Ancient Power, and then I have enough time to get to a second Ominous Wind. But obviously, because they um, got snuck through an extra charm when I threw my charged attack, I wasn't able to get there on that instant. So really not good for me, uh, but I mean, it is what it is. So out comes the Mewtwo, and they're getting to those charge moves so very quickly. I'm not quite sure how, but they did manage to get to a couple. Um, I want to over farm just a little bit on the Dialga and then throw the uh, Iron Head and see what they want to do. Out comes the Togekiss and they're either going to have to let this go or um, use their second shield and they decide to let it go and they bring out their own Dialga. So here I'm just going to come out um, and I'm going to be able to get to my size Strikes before they're able to get to the uh, Iron Head, so I'm obviously going to be shielding one of those Iron Heads up, uh, and this will be the Iron Head that I'll be shielding, and they're not going to be able to get to a second Iron Head before I can get to a Psy Strike here, so go for the three and then look to uh, take the game. Um, so had I gone for the Focus Blast and shielded that up, um, Possibly back-to-back -back Focus Blasts were, would have been the play there, but I just didn't want to take the risk and knowing how much damage the Psy Strike does. So jumping into the next one, and this is an alright matchup, except um, unfortunately uh, the Lugia is running Dragon Tail, so also doing super effective damage. They swap into um, a Groudon here, I throw the Shadow Ball, and they let that go, looking to charge up some more, and they're just uh, they're staying in here, so throwing the Ominous Wind, hopefully grab a shield. Unfortunately, I didn't grab a shield here. Uh, I'm thinking that they have, uh, well, Earthquake comes through, which is fine. I'm able to take that down, so maintain switch, and out comes the uh, Lugia again, which is uh, not too bad. I'm going to uh, throw the Ominous Wind, grab a shield, and then come out with the Lugia. So uh, this one I'm worried about an Aero Blast coming through, um, but I am going to let it go because it is going to be doing resisted damage. So out comes the Mewtwo, which is... Uh, yeah, is what it is. I'm going to shield this one up, and it is the size strike here. Um, I do want to over farm a reasonable amount, throw the iron head, and then I'll be looking to throw an iron head on the um, Lugia. I'm going to swap out with my own um, Mewtwo here and hopefully catch a um, move, but they uh, go straight Shadow Ball, which is the right play. It does just... Uh, I have one HP left on my Mewtwo. Thank God it's a hundo. Um, and then come out with the uh, Dialga, charge up to the Draco Media and able to Draco the um, Lugia there and uh, take that game uh, with a shield in the bag. So good, uh, good game right there. Um, able to... Uh, Thankfully survive this Shadow Ball with one HP, um, absolutely outstanding. So had I not had a hundo, um, wouldn't have happened. So on the lead, we've got Melmetal, so really good-ish, well, good lead for me. Swap out with the Dialga, and the reason I no-shield this is because if they throw the Ominous Wind, that's real bad for them. Um, so happy days. And can swap in, and I don't want to, I don't want my... 
Dow got to have energy. Um, I'd well have health. I don't want any farm from the Mel Metal, so I'm going to let this go. We'll see if they want to throw the superpower. They do want to throw the superpower, so that's fine with me. And I'll come in with the uh, Giratina to uh, put a bit of a farm on. So here, what I'm going to do is uh, look to throw the Ominous Wind straight away um, because they are still debuffed. Well, they're debuffed from the. Um, Superpower, they swap into a Swampert. So this is not bad for me. So, well, I say not bad. This is really quite good for me here. Um, so what I'm going to do here is let this first one go, and it is a Hydro. They're going to get to another one, but I will shield that up. What it means is um, they're probably now going to throw um, another Hydro, and apparently I'm not shielding that up. Um, didn't shield it up. Able to get to another size strike, and we'll see what they want to do. So again, one tiny little HP left. I'm going to save both my shields here. I've got both of theirs. Um, now I might as well throw my shields. They're going to be rock sliding, which is not going to be doing a huge amount of damage here. Um, and then I'm going to look to farm up. I'm going to shield both of these because I'm then going to throw back to back ominous winds um, and see if I can get the boost. If I can get the boost, this is even more amazing. They decide not to shield up because it is GG's at that point. Um, and I'm able to take that game pretty comfortably in the end. So I um, should have just thrown a move earlier because... Uh, yeah, at that point they'd said good game and off they'd gone. So, um, really good game there. Able to match up pretty nicely against uh, against them. So, we'll jump into the next one and see what we get. So, um, for the Giratina, so running Shadow Claw, Ominous Wind and Shadow Ball. So, it takes six to get to an Ominous Wind and seven to get to a Shadow Ball. Um, so, really good there. On this one we have a Dialga on the lead. And this is always rough because... Um, you always know everyone's basically running a Dialga counter so if you swap in your Dialga you're asking for trouble um, they were slow to the swap here so I'm actually able to get to two iron heads um, and they're going to either have to burn both shields or lose switch and uh, switch it is so they decided to go with losing switch um, which means I can now match up my Mewtwo against their Dialga which is good for me um, but we'll see what they want to do so here I'm going to charge up to the focus blast go a little bit over so I'm going to go double um, size strikes and I get no shield so I'm going to go straight into the next one and see what they want to do so can I get a shield here so able to grab their shield um, and here the question is what do I want to do so I'm going to shield this up I'm going to over farm here so I have a um, Size strike ready. Uh, shields are down, and out comes a Giratina Origin. I'm able to get to the Shadow Ball, which is absolutely perfect. Um, they're also going to have to Shadow Ball me, um, but because I've got a charge move stored, Mewtwo beats everything um, in terms of CMP tie, so I'm able to instantly chuck my Size Strike. Shields are down, they've got no health whatsoever, so even if they have a stored Ominous Wind or whatever. It doesn't matter. That's a GG's right there, and I'm able to take that game. So, really good there. And uh, storing that charge move up before swapping out on the Mewtwo was really important. And it also meant that I was able to get a head start on energy generation on the uh, Dialga. So, really good there. Um, so, we'll jump into the next one. And again, another Dialga lead. So, this is really unfortunate for me. Um, they're staying in with the Dialga here, which is interesting. Uh, I am going to throw my... Uh, iron head and we'll see what they want to do so they decide to no shield that um, they've charged up a lot of energy and decided to no shield so I'm going to shield up and it is the Draco so that's pretty good for me uh, and we'll see what they want to do and I am able to get to another iron head uh, which is really good and we'll see what they want to do there so they've shielded that one up so we're on even shields um, they're charging up a lot of energy on this Mewtwo. They're going to side strike me and then instantly side strike me again, I imagine, or um, Shadow Ball. So I imagine they've got a Shadow Ball coming through here. So I am actually going to shield this one up and see what they do. So it is the Shadow Ball that comes through, and I am expecting them to. Oh, and they get to another charge move. Really hoping that this isn't the Shadow Ball. It's not. It's a side strike, and then I am able to charge them down, which works out really well for me. Um, so they come out with their own. Giratina, which is a little bit awkward for me. Uh, I get a shield on the uh, 
for on the ominous wind and then they swap out on the shadow ball so this is really unfortunate for me um, so catching that charge move means this is game over they're going to be able to charge me down shadow ball here is going to take me out and then they're going to be able to fast move farm me down before i can get there so i'll leave that game so good game there for them um, catching that charge move won them the game so really good on them um, really unfortunate for me that in the back i had something that was uh, one shot by uh, shadow ball so groudon on the lead which is good uh, they swap into Palkia, which is a bit of an interesting one, obviously. Um, going to be doing a lot of damage, so I'll, sh I'll shield this up because I'm expecting it to be a big move. Unfortunately, it is only Aqua Tail, and they get to another charge move, which is really bad. So it's going to be an Aqua Tail, so going to do absolutely no damage. Um, but it does mean they go down a shield. So here, I'm going to actually throw the Draco. If they decide not to shield at Happy Days, unfortunately... They decide to shield it up, and that's uh, not so good for me. Had they not, I would have been able to get to a couple of... Well, to be honest, they would have thrown in a move before I was able to get to a second one anyway. Um, and then I come out with my Mewtwo here, and I'm actually just going to go the side straight. So Focus Blast would basically one-shot this thing, but I was worried about a shield, and they decide to no-shield it. Um, shield this up and it's an earthquake coming from it uh, from a snorlax that's absolutely insane so going to throw another charge move here it is a side strike and they let it go so they've got shields are down um, and i'm able to get to another side strike here um, and eventually finally they decide to shield that up uh, gonna let this uh, well i say let this come through i have no choice it is a fire punch which isn't actually going to be enough to take me out um, so i swap in with my Giratina here uh, and able to throw the move and charge down so able to take that win uh, in the end which is really nice and also a little bit of energy left on the Mewtwo in the back there so we'll jump into the next one and the reason I swapped out of that is because I don't want them farming me um, and getting a head start on energy generation which is why I swapped straight in so we've got the mirror match here and I like to play this um, so I will try and get an extra fast move through there and I think I was able to get one I will shield this first one up in case it's a shadow ball it is a shadow ball then I'll go one extra and then throw the ominous wind uh, and hopefully grab a shield myself and they decide to no shield it so that's a really big play by them and then I wait to get to an ominous another ominous wind um, and see what they want to do so they've decided to no shield so they're down a shield here and I'm actually going to switch out and see what they bring in um, so they're running the same team as me which is really interesting um, and we'll see who plays it better so they've decided to no shield on their um, Giratina um, and then they throw the uh, side strike and they're going to throw another one and that takes me to no shields so we do have um, so here what I'm going to do is unfortunately lose the CMP side strike comes through it is going to take me out and then out comes Dialga here so what I'm going to do here is in order for me to win this I need to hit it with a Focus Blast. So let's see what they want to do here. So I'm going to charge up extra, throw the Focus Blast. If they think I'm bluffing, it's good game. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. Um, at this point, I'm going to be able to get hit by the side Strike and lose by a Shield. So I was uh, looking to change up and and looks like they play it better unfortunately so that's a bit awkward but I mean it is what it is um, and being uh, trying to get to double side strike there to take them out was uh, not quite possible unfortunately didn't get the win in that instance so throwing the shadow ball and sacking um, the Giratina there really paid off for them. So we'll see what happens in this next one. And we get Kyogre on the lead. So that's really good. And they swap into um, Dialga. And so what you need to be aware of here is you need to swap very, very quickly. If you do not swap quickly enough, they will get to two iron heads before you can, if they shield this up, um, they'll get to two iron heads instead of one. So now if you've swapped quickly enough, you should be able 
to charge them all the way down um, before they get to a second iron head um, and I was able to do it. Um, out comes the Kyogre. I'm going to wait my switch clock out a little bit and then swap in with my Giratina Origin. They swap in with their um, Togekiss. Unfortunately we do get a little bit of lag and I do want to count those charge moves. So it takes eight charms to get to um, an ancient power. So you just need to count those to make sure they don't get um, ahead of you. And then throw that charge move so out comes uh, it's this is either going to be an ancient power yeah so there's the ancient power and unfortunately they got the boost so that's really bad for me um, so gonna look to farm that down and then we'll see what comes out so I've got the shadow ball charged up so had they not got the boost there that would have been uh, much much nicer for me and then is this a surf is this a blizzard we'll find out it's a surf so i survive and then one more fast move and down they go so um yeah had that not got the boost might have been a little bit more comfortable for me there but i mean it is what it is and um happy days so we'll jump into the next one and see how we go so out comes Melmetal. So Melmetal on the lead is really good. If they switch this out, obviously I'm going to switch in my Dialga because I do not want Dialga matched up against this Melmetal. So I'm going to let this first one come through. It is going to be the Rock Slide and it does next to no damage. Um, I am waiting for them. Um, I'm expecting them to swap out and try and catch a charge move. That's why I'm over farming just a little bit. Decide to throw straight into the Shadow Ball. Um, no shield it there, which is absolutely fine with me. And then I'll throw into the Ominous Wind and see if I get a shield. So got the shield and got a boost. So getting that boost is absolutely massive. Let's see how they go. So I decide to no shield this and they swap in with their Groudon. Um, and then I'm going to, again, throw another Ominous Wind, see what they want to do. So no shielding that and then just go to town on these ominous winds. Let's see if I can get a double boost here. Uh, no boost, um, and then let's see what they want to do. So I'm going to shield this up because they're going to be throwing the Earthquake. Um, I say that, and they throw a Fire Punch. Um, I assume they're going to throw the Earthquake because they're only ever going to get to one move. Out comes the Mewtwo, so this is absolutely outstanding. Um, the Giratina is going to be able to do a whole lot of damage. So I'm going to shield this up and force them to throw another Psy Strike um, because obviously and unfortunately they get the uh, brilliant sack swap on the Melmetal um, and then out comes the Mewtwo again and then I'm going to do my own sack swap just because I don't want them to take out a single Pokemon. Uh, Shadow Ball comes through and then I'm able to farm that down pretty comfortably. Um, Giratina boosted is just absolutely insane. So they had two counters for my Dialga in there, but when you can't get them lined up, happy days. So we'll jump into the next one and see how we go. So we get Mamoswine on the lead, so this is really not ideal for me. So I swap into Mewtwo, and they come out with the uh, Melmetal here. So I'm going to go straight for the Focus Blast, and let's see what they want to do. Um, if they decide to no-shield this, which they have absolutely one-shotting that, um, that Melmetal. So that's really not looking ideal for them. Uh, they come out with the Mamoswine, and I think at this point... They decide it's game over, um, so they just sort of let it go, and uh, or, or out comes uh, the lag. So um, really unfortunate there. Um, the deciding to no shield at that point, I yeah, they've decided that's game over. Um, and to be fair, yeah, it pretty much is here. So um, out comes the the Dialga, and I'm just going to throw this um, focus blast because I'm assuming at this point. They've left the match. So Focus Blast comes through and takes that out. So a bit of an anticlimactic last match, um, but landing that Focus Blast pretty much ended the game right there, um, and I was able to go a 4-1. and one. So two sets of 4-1, and one, which is really, really nice, and got rewarded with a Latios, um, which is also good. So we'll uh, obviously throw the Pineapple Berry there and see if we can catch this thing. Um, Pineapple Berry, because it's not running away, um, and managed to get the excellent throw. So I do have a video on excellent throws. I've also got, uh, so I'll link that now. I've got a playlist on my Master League battles from Season 6, so I'll link that as well, and you can check those out. Um, but otherwise, uh, managed to jag another excellent throw, which is always good. But hopefully, with... 
Master League. Yes, it's expensive, um, but it is also... This is a team I've been running since pre-season. I'm, I'm fairly sure I ran. Um, I definitely ran Giratina Origin and Dialga in pre-season. I'm not sure if I had uh, Mewtwo in pre-season, um, but Mewtwo, absolutely love it. Got a hundo, so I was always going to power that up. So hopefully that was useful for someone. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.